unsure of the best place to publish your research, you're not alone. As a scientist, you may be aware of predatory journals with questionable and unethical publishing practices. Predatory journals prioritise financial profits at the expense of research integrity. As a result, publishing best practice is thrown out of the window. Published articles can be lower quality and sometimes full of incorrect or misleading information. This means that your good research may be published alongside fake science that could damage your reputation. Predatory journals can cause confusion and stress for authors trying to find a safe place to publish their research. How do you spot them and what makes the best journals different? Think, Check, Submit is a checklist that helps researchers to select a trustworthy journal. Here are some things to watch out for when looking for a good home for your research findings. Journals that publish high quality research will be found on a number of reputable indexes like PubMed, Scopus, Web of Science and the Directory of Open Access Journals. They have strong editorial boards with subject expertise, article screening and assessment processes and are transparent about their rigorous peer review process. Open journals should have transparent, reasonably priced open access options, waiver schemes and open data mandates. Ethical journals will adhere to the Committee on Publication Ethics Guidelines, have clear ethics policies and only publish research that adheres to these standards. The Royal Society's mission is to recognise, promote and support excellence in science. It has over 350 years of experience of publishing and celebrating great research. We champion quality, open and ethical publishing. And as a not-for-profit publisher, all the surplus we make is reinvested in science through activities such as scientific meetings, grants, science policy work and public engagement. And we love what we do, working with authors as individual researchers rather than a name behind a paper. So next time you're concerned about the state of science publishing, remember it's not all doom and gloom, and consider publishing with the Royal Society.